Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. Your choice for the conservative voice. This is Carol Parisi. Today we have our Champion News team here. And before the break, Jack was talking a little bit about family taxpayers. And um, Jack, you, family taxpayer really, I guess, as you say, was a skunk at a picnic, you being a skunk at a picnic, <laughs> For many years with this oh, yeah. pension thing, and I'm noticing a lot of people are starting to take champion the pension thing themselves. It was many years. Uh, it's I've been on this uh, thing about the uh, teachers' unions for about 40 years. I've been a skunk at a picnic. Uh, I originally uh, found out what was going on in District 59, which is Arlington Heights and Elk Grove, when I used to live there in that area, and. Uh, uh, they went for a tax increase, and it got me interested since I was head of a homeowners group, and I invited the uh, officers of the of the thing to it. And uh, really, I found out that with just two hours of reading of their budget, I knew more about their budget than they did. <laughs> uh, that sounds arrogant. You read to, the budget. It happens. It's easy enough <laughs> to it's, do. Uh, yep. It sounds arrogant to say a thing like that, but I found the arrogance is on their part. And they informed me at that meeting that I couldn't possibly understand the complexities of education, and uh, all they had to, and uh, they had no answers but uh, defiance, and uh, that, that that rankled me a little bit. And uh, that was the first referendum I took on, and we did. That was the first one they ever lost <laughs> in uh, District 59. But so uh, that sparked you. That sparked my interest, and uh, I gradually realized you had to get organized that uh, there was really a, a remarkably large evil thing in the state of Illinois. And it was originally my interest was all financial because uh, I found out that, uh, boy, they sure wasted money everything they touched <laughs> and that the salaries and pensions were outrageous. Uh, eventually, uh, I, I called up a newspaper reporter and said, uh, uh, the salaries you published are really very low. They're much higher than that. She uh, said, uh, well, I got them from uh, the uh, administration building. And I said, yeah. Uh, I said, I don't call them liars, but they are prevaricators. <laughs> and you should go to the uh, TRS, the teacher's retirement system at the state level, to get the right information. And she says, I don't have time for that kind of research. Uh, so exactly. that's, that's, that's what we talked about. Yep. That's about 12 years ago. Uh, when I uh, took and put all of the salaries of all of the teachers and uh, all of the outrageous uh, administ administrator salaries, j just fantastically, unbelievably high. And uh, we put those on the uh, network with Family Taxpayer Foundation and later on uh, made an easy transfer uh, so that those figures are available also on championnews.net. And uh, that's when Zettler started writing, uh, mining... Uh, he dove into the rather, well, hugely <laughs> yes. voluminous amount of <laughs> statistics, and uh, he has a terrific knack and background uh, in accounting and in communications. And uh, he uh, event uh, started writing. So he wrote 150 articles, and uh, became an employee. Uh, he's he's our technical specialist with Champion News, and uh, I asked him a few months ago if he couldn't turn his articles into a book. And it resulted in this. And oddly, you know, I might be scaring you off on this book because uh, we had all this about the statistics about everything. The lists are unbelievably long. But uh, he has uh, gotten it down, and every chapter in this book is a short story and very interesting to read. Well, it's a compilation of facts. Like, yes. I, will just, I will just read one here. On page 81, taxpayers have contributed 230% more than teachers. Taxpayers have contributed more than 230%. So if you want more... That's a better deal than we get from Social Security. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is at the Illinois Pension Scam book. That's the book Jack is referring to, which is available. Which is available at, you can just go to IllinoisPensionScam.com and it'll direct you to a page on Champion News where you can buy, purchase the book. Or you can go to ChampionNews.net Champion and the book is right in the sidebar. And you could order it right from there and it's, it's, it's great. It is really what's going on here in Illinois and... Not only yeah. Illinois, uh, it, what they're doing is the unions are doing this to the entire uh, nation well, and uh, they have screwed up uh, the... the 
whole economy uh, with what's going on. This is not small. I'm not just picking on some innocent bunch of teachers uh, that happen to belong to a union. This is a nationwide scam. Uh, I can show you articles from uh, 1993 in Forbes magazine that illustrate very well what the heck's been going on with the NEA, which Forbes calls the National Extortion Association, and it has taken over and provided the money for ruining the entire political system, not, not only of Illinois, but pretty much elsewhere. But Illinois was ripe for that kind of right. We're number one. Let's face yes, it, we are the champions <laughs> of political corruption and cronyism. Yep. It's no the doubt Chicago about it. way, man. They know that everywhere in the world. Yep. Even, the, even the, what, Bohemian goat herder uses? The Abyssinian, Abyssinian girl, her <laughs> special advisors there. But Jack, back to your point that this is a national issue. It, it is it is compelling and stunning that a couple weeks ago, John Stossel on Fox News was talking about exactly what you have been discussing for years. And Michael, what what are your thoughts on this? Well, I I, I believe it absolutely is a national issue. It is. What the union has done in Illinois is exactly what they would like to duplicate. This is the model they want to duplicate across the country. Right. You know, we had Sharon Angle on, and they are, they're in a right-to-work state. Right. Nevertheless, the unions are very, very much uh, fighting for more territory. Right. And See, it's not states. the union workers. It's the union bosses. It's the, the union, union bosses. workers yeah. are just, you know what, they're just doing what they're told. They're, they're, told. they're being lied to. It's very they're interesting as well. that most, uh, about 90% of the people that belong to a trade union, uh, and, and they're now mostly government employees, have never signed on to the union. Somebody way in the past signed on, and they're caught up in the web and they can't get out, except in 23 states. That's where the automobiles in the United States are being built, um, largely by foreign countries. But the, the wages and so forth are better in the South where they got those 23 uh, states that have signed up on, on the right to work. It's an outrageous thing that men, should be, men and women uh, should be compelled to join a union or lose their job. That's right. That's not yeah. freedom. That is that is taking away and usurping freedom. And one Michael. of the reasons that I believe Illinois pension scam is is this is something that should be national. This doesn't just pertain to Illinois. And a good example is the Scott Walker recall election. He he got eight times more money in his campaign than the union because he was getting money from all over the country. People all over the country are having to fight these unions. This is everybody's fight. Yes. Uh, this is the American taxpayer fight. What you're getting yes. from this, I, I can tell you, originally when I got upset with the unions, I went after them on their, on their ma bad management and the fact that they were really, uh, uh, you know, kind of cuckoo about these outrageous salaries and fixing roofs and building buildings. And I went after them financially because uh, what they're doing with the students uh, you, you could have a, a little difference of opinion on what you really should be teaching kids. But there's no difference of opinion on the fact that to fix a, a leaking roof on a school, and I can give you uh, innumerable examples of this all over the state of Illinois, they will pay typically in a school district about four times what any businessman or, or, or person put fixing their own home roof. They'll spend about four times as much. If the right price is $4 a square foot, I've found these people paying 16 20 22 even $32 a square foot to fix an ordinary roof. They're nuts, and there, there are all kinds care. of deals going on. Deals. The people that run the school districts don't really run them. Uh, what they, the, the, the people who are running the school districts across the state of Illinois, it is the IEA and the other teachers' unions, but principally the, the I Illinois Education Association. I always call them the Illinois Miseducation Association. It's political patronage is what it is. Yes. Now, Worse than, it... It's an outrage. The money they take from <laughs> yeah. the teachers, $132 million a year, and they spend that on the politics. And in a, where does the money come to corrupt the whole state and to bust the pensions? It comes from the dues taken from the teachers by their stinking IEA union.
<laughs> well, now, Lenny, you're going to tell us a little bit about um, Obama and how Obama has taken part and parcel into our pension scam. Um, we're going to go to break here in about 10 seconds. Can you just let our listeners know what they're going to be in for here? Oh, basically Obama used his influence through Michael Madigan to get money to go from the retirement system to his donors.